Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will share with you guys 15 awesome tricks that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 18. These are pretty cool, will help you do a lot of things faster and it's just cool to know them and use them on your device. First of all, we're moving to the control center. Now under the control center, you can now have of course multiple pages and you will see right here we have these little icons which basically indicate on which page you're at. So you will have your favorites first, then you will have maybe your music and then your connectivity right here. Now what you can do if, if you have these or you have even more pages you can just scroll like this right there and you can quickly move between the different pages that you have added to your control center now here's another one that i think is pretty useful on the control center when you go to your connections where you will have all your wi-fi your airdrop bluetooth seller data and all that stuff you can quickly switch between different lines of phone numbers that you might have on your device for your seller data so you will see these little arrows right there you tap right there and it will show your seller data right here you can go ahead and switch between your primary or secondary line directly from the control center on the new Photos app on iOS 18, you will have a ton of different features. A lot of these features that probably most users won't know. Now, one of them is this one right here, which is pretty cool. So you're on an album and you wanna go to another album, you can quickly move between different albums, just like you swipe between different pages. So if I'm here, I can go ahead and switch to the other album, come back here, go to another one, as easy as this, at any time I can switch between my albums. Now, if you go ahead and view your albums on a list right here, when you go to the album section, you just tap on albums, you will see a list of your albums right here. You can just go ahead, Hold one of them and you can actually move it around and you can rearrange your albums on the Photos app as easy as that. And at any time that you're on an album and you want to get out of there, you don't have to reach for that X button. All you have to do is just swipe down here and you're out of the album. And this right here is pretty cool as well. On Safari, when you have downloads, if you have a video that you have downloaded, you will now have here the option to actually trim that video directly on the downloads tab on Safari. You don't need to save it anywhere to actually edit it if you wanna just like trim the video, you can actually do that directly from Safari. On the iMessage app with iOS 18, if you're sending a message to someone and you're not able to reach them, whether that's via SMS or iMessage, you will have a pretty useful option right here. So you tap that little I right there and it allows you to try again. You can try again with the other line if you have, but you can also now send the message to their email. So directly from here, just tap send to email and that message that it's not being able to be sent via iMessage can now be sent through the email. You can now also record voice memos on the Notes app. Directly from the Notes app, all you have to do is just tap this button right there to attach, and you can just go ahead and tap on record audio. Now from here, we'll have basically the exact same UI that you get on the voice memos app as well. So you tap right here, start recording, and anything that you record will be saved on this note. So you tap done right there, and then you will have your recording on the notes app. And of course, you can go ahead, play it from here. You will have the controls as usual with iOS. So now we can just record on the notes app without having to use the voice memos app. Now here's a very useful setting that you need to enable on iOS 18. So head on to your settings, go under general, and then head on to your keyboard settings. Right here, you will be able to enable this button right here, show math results. Now what it does, it basically lets you calculate with your keyboard. So whether you're typing a message or anywhere else you are, you can just go ahead and just calculate anything you want directly from your keyboard. So we can just go ahead and do that from here. And you will have basically the results on the keyboard of your device. If you're trying to send a message or something like that, you can see in this case, I can choose to show the full problem here or just the result, whatever I want. And now I can just go ahead and send it as a message. I don't need to calculate first on the calculator app and then send it. I can do it from the keyboard. 
On the notes app, you will have a pretty cool feature here. If you select a text that you have, like a title, for example, and you go ahead and then on the format here, you choose subheading, you will get this little arrow right there. It allows you to collapse right here and hide the text that you have underneath that word. It will have that little arrow, which you can see allows you to do that. It's a bit hard here from the camera to do it, but you can see it will hide and also unhide the text that you have under your subheading. On the music app on iOS 18, you will be able to delete multiple songs at the one time from the playlist. So all you have to do is of course select the songs. You can just go ahead, tap the edit button. You can select the songs right here, multiple of those, and just go ahead and delete them from that playlist. Now, of course, one of the really cool features of iOS 18 is the ability to customize your home screen. Now, you will have a few options here, the automatic, dark and light mode, and then you have the tinted mode. Now, what's really cool is that you can use this color picker right here. Once you tap there, you can see it will remove everything from your home screen and you can just go ahead and pick one color out of the home screen and choose that as a tint for your icons. Now this is the way you go because you can see if I choose one of the colors of the wallpaper, it actually makes the home screen look really, really good. It goes really well here with everything on the background. It looks just amazing. Now, when it comes to customization, here's another really cool thing that you can do. You probably know that you can now change the buttons on the lock screen, but you do know that you can also remove them completely. If you just want to have a way cleaner lock screen and you don't need these buttons, you just have the minus button and don't add any new ones and they will have a really clean looking lock screen on your iOS 18 device iOS 18 has a new passwords app where you will have the ability to manage all of your passwords and right there you will find your Wi-Fi passwords as well the ones that you have saved on your device now what you can do if you go to one of them you can now actually show a QR code which will let you share that Wi-Fi and the passcode to anyone you want via a QR code that will be displayed right here on your screen and last but not least the calculator app is brand new on iOS 18, what you can do now, if you tap right here and scroll all the way down, is that you can now see all the history of everything that you have actually calculated on your device, which is really, really cool. So it will have a long history of everything. You can also, of course, tap this button right there, and you enable this button then here, and you can just go ahead and convert actually anything you need. You go ahead and pick between different categories Pick any unit you want and now convert anything with the calculator app. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.